Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science and today I'm going to show you how to create micellar waters. Micellar waters have become popularly known as little oil droplets suspended in water to clean away dirt and makeup. There are two types of micellar waters on the market. True micellar waters, which is basically water with some polysorbate 20 or other solubilizer present that helps remove oil and makeup from the skin because of the extra uh, solubilizing agent in here. Basically, when that comes into contact with the skin, it traps the oil and dirt and helps you wash it away. Now, these sorts of micellar waters are great to clean off water-based makeup and for very gentle cleansing applications. The other very popular form of micellar waters is these two-phase looking products. Now these aren't true micelles forming in here, it is basically water and some volatile lipid so that when you shake the product together it forms the little oil droplets. These are great to remove a lot of oil-based products, so oil-based makeup where you might be in heavily polluted areas or exposed to a lot of grime during the day. These types of micellar waters, because of the large lipid phase that they contain compared to this micellar water, the, that means that these actually help remove oil and oil-based makeup better because the oil in this product will more easily trap the oil on your skin and then the big water base helps wash it away. I'm going to be showing you how to create both types of products today so that you can see the difference. But remember, if you want to remove water-based makeup, the micellar water using a polysorbate or solubilizing agent is the best to use. And to remove oil-based makeup, you want to use a two-phase product like this, which, was, which has more lipid phase content to trap the oil in your makeup or oil in excess grime. The first one I'm going to show you is the polysorbate based micellar water. So what I have in here is water, some glycerin and my preservative. Now when you're creating these formulas, make sure you've got a good water soluble preservative in there. To this, I'm going to add some EDTA. This is a chelating agent. And we add this so that we are creating soft water. I'll set that up ready to be stirred. The next thing is you need to create your polysorbate phase. So in here I have already measured out some polysorbate, 20. And to this I'm going to add a very small amount of fragrance and that's just so that the product smells nice. Now I don't want to add a lot of fragrance because remember I want an excess of polysorbate 20 in my formula so that that excess solubilizing agent can be used to remove any oil or grease on my face when I apply it. So now I just need to combine the two phases. And that's all there is to it. Now to create my unique product story with this sort of micellar water, I could add various extracts to it. I want to keep the oil content low so I would not add oils to this formula because remember I want an excess of polysorbate 20 or solubilizing agent so that that solubilizing agent can clean oils and debris from my skin. Again high water content this is great for water based uh, makeup removal or just general daily use. One final step I would need to check and adjust the pH to suit either the skin around 5.5 or the preservative system that I'm using. Now I'm going to show you the two-phase preparation method and this one again has a very high lipid content, a volatile lipid content so that you're not left with greasy residue feeling on your face. So here I've prepared again my water, preservative, a little bit of glycerin. And to this, I'm going to add the EDTA. Now the EDTA again, very important because we want the product to feel soft, so we're creating soft water.
And to this I'm going to add some volatile lipid with some oil soluble dye. Now it's really important that you're using oil soluble dyes in these products to get the top layer to be a different colour. If you use a water soluble dye the bottom will be a different colour and it's just not what consumers are used to seeing when they see these two phase products. They're used to seeing the colour at the top layer. So remember it must be an oil soluble dye. And in here I've got a large percentage of volatile silicon and a small amount of long spreading lipid that also has a very light skin feel. So these lipids will essentially uh, trap all the oil based makeup or oil based grime that's on my skin and then the large amount of water that is used when these products are applied to the skin will help wash it away. Using volatile lipids means that I won't be left with excess residue because the lipid will essentially evaporate from my skin temperature. So we combine the two phases. And with sheer, the product looks like it's come together. But if we stop mixing, the product will very quickly separate into its two layers that you used to see. Now you can make that more distinct by adding more of the oil soluble dye or keep it light. Totally depends on the look you're going for with the product. Now remember because we do have preservative in here you will just need to check and adjust the final pH to suit the preservative or the skin pH around 5.5. You can add a very small amount of light skin feeling lipid extracts for product story or marketing claims. You could also add some water soluble extracts that will be soluble in the water phase for marketing story or product claims.